This is the guitar lesson for Alabama Shakes, Hold On, The Easy Way. All right, open E tuning, uh, standard E tuning. And what you wanna know are two chords, okay? One is going to be this variation of, of C, okay? It's going to be a C and then put your pinky on that third fret E string, okay? So it sounds like this. All right, the other chord is an F, okay? So it's this F too. It's you wanna bar uh, the first fret with the um, pointer finger on the E and the B string, all right? Your middle finger is going to go on the second fret G string. Your uh, ring finger is going to go on the third fret uh, A string and your pinky is going to go on the uh, third fret D string, okay? The two chords, C and F, all right? So, and F. So it sounds like this, and there's, a, there's I think three guitars in this song doing different things. There's two leads, but there's one rhythm, and the rhythm carries the whole song, okay? So from here, I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the main points, and you can figure out how you wanna play it in front of your friends, or if you have um, other guitarists you wanna involve, and you can have them play other parts. Okay, so this is how it goes. Okay, so it's that over and over and over and over again, okay? So what I'm doing on the C, it's C first, then F, and then that's it repeated, okay? So I'm strumming it, then I'm muting it, and I'm kind of arpeggiating those strings. I'm playing slowly through them, and I'm also kind of muting them too. on the electric guitar that, that uh, she uses in the track, okay? And so, you also want to, when you're playing that C chord, you don't want to really strum all the way through it until the chorus when she says, hold on. But what you want to do is you want to mute. When you mute, also take off, your, take the pressure off your left hand when you're making that chord. So it kind of gives you that stopping short sound, okay? so. So when I'm strumming it, I'm pushing down and I'm letting off basically when my pick leaves the strings, okay? So then the next chord is F and that's the easy, that's uh, just make sure you know your F, it's hard to bar that uh, first fret right there. But all it is is some down strokes and some up strokes. So down with the C, down, down with the C, down. And then I go to F. So. to the C. Okay? That's basically the whole song. And then when it really gets loud, you can just go. Do whatever you want. So, Okay, so just remember those two chords, that C and that F. All right, now let's talk about the lead part, okay? The... Okay, that's it right there, and all it is is I'm around the third, the fifth, and the seventh fret, and I go the fifth four, the fifth <laughs> the fifth uh, fret E string. Okay, that's where I start. So I go so fifth fret E string to seventh fret A string. So and I'm also muting those strings. I'm not letting them ring completely. Okay, I'm muting them a little bit with my right hand. Okay, so my right hand is on that bridge. So. 
So fifth fret E string to the seventh fret A string, and then the fifth fret E string again to the third fret A string, okay? So. All right, the fifth fret again, E string, down to the third fret E string, back to the fifth fret, and now I go. Down, down, up, up, on that third fret A string. Then I hit the fifth fret A string once, and I go right back to the seventh fret and start all over. It sounds awesome when you play it on electric guitar. I only have my acoustic right now, so that's all you get. Sorry, all right? The next little fill, when it goes to the F chord, one of the other guitarists plays this. Okay, so that's, go up to the 10th fret. You wanna bar both the A and the D string, and you wanna hammer on to the 12th fret on that A string, okay, with your ring finger. So. You know that little blues lick? All right, so. And then, so that's the 10th fret with my pointer finger on the G string, and my ring finger is going to be on the D string uh, 12th fret, and I'm going to strum both those two strings once, and then slide up to 12 and 14. Same shape, just slide up there and then I go right back into it. Okay, come back down. Not too bad. Um, there's a lot of little licks and fills in this song. There's that one too. Um, that's with, uh, go to the 10th and the 12th fret again. Um, take your ring finger, put it on the D string at the 12th fret. And then also keep your pinky on the G string at the 12th fret too. And you want to bend up a full step and then use your pinky. All right, and then you pluck that bend, bended string again, come back down and then hit the 10th fret on that D string. Okay, that's in there too. Um, that's, that's all I can think of right now. Um, there is a ton of stuff going on in this song though, but if you just stick to the basics, you'll, you'll do just fine, okay? And that's the C. And the F. And that's really cool too. When you're strumming through there, keep your, uh, keep a very light palm on the bridge and it gives you that cool sound that she kind of goes in and out of in the song, okay? So it's like this. You can kind of hear it ring. The acoustics aren't great on that video camera, but you can kind of hear it ring as I'm doing it, okay? So listen. warm sound. So I hope you've enjoyed my easy guitar lesson. Please go to my website, guitarmadeeasy.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Facebook and like my Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash guitarmadeeasy. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next lesson. Thank you.